Hey folks, Jonathan. I'm back on this dimming engine. Uh, as you can see, I've got the linkage hooked up. All I did was machine uh, our rods here, and then I cut these off, machined them as a T, and then I drilled them. I got these pins that are 210 thousandths. Uh, they're old rivets, are what they are, and uh, I don't want to rivet, rivet these because I want to be able to take them loose to adjust them. So we're going to try to drill little holes for them and uh, put cotter pins in them. That might be a fun fun experience with that. Me and little tiny drill bits don't get along. Not when you got big drill presses, but uh but it's hooked up and working. And uh I think it's gonna work really good. Shouldn't be a problem. And uh we'll get on the other linkage and the eccentrics and try to get some timing on it and try to get her get her running and riding. Hey folks, I'm out here working on my engine again, and at this time I'm trying to get the the linkage figured out, uh, the height of where I want my hole, how long I want this linkage, uh, of course my length on my rod here, which we'll do afterwards, but and how far I need to drill my offset for my eccentrics, and what I've done is just make a temporary lever and. Uh, maybe a little longer than what you know what it needs to be but uh want to figure out where i need to put the hole uh distance of travel so we'll know our offset on our on our eccentric and what we're working with working on the the center uh rod going across so that actually operates the outside valve and what i've done is put the valve all the way to the front as far as i want it and you can see or maybe you can see that this this opening here is actually totally uncovered and this would actually be putting pressure on the back of the cylinder and it'd be letting the front exhaust because it's letting the everything come out of the front hole and then through my valve the uh, the concave in the bottom of my valve and then back through and out our exhaust so this is pressurizing the back of, of the cylinder so which really don't matter but I mean we want it fully uncovered and uh, and that's what we've got and then what we need to do is I've got the dial indicator set up and I just picked a random spot and we'll move the valve all the way back to where the the position needs to be where it uncovers the front hole and that'll be putting pressure on the front of the cylinder and wherever that stops and whatever calculation I get here will be the full length of travel and then I will drill my offset half of that so we're gonna check it and I think I, I, I tried it one time but we're gonna go through it again here because I may what I may end up doing is raising the the height on the lever because I'm, I'm only coming up with like 300 350 thousand something like that I it's been a few minutes since I've done it so I didn't pay that much attention but it just seemed like it was less than I wanted so I may end up going with a longer lever and bringing the actual rods up you know good and straight and uh, I think it'll look a little neater that way and that's just a temporary rod I made anyway so it's not that important but but I will go ahead and move it and we'll see what we end up with there's a hundred thousandths There's 200, and we're, I don't think we're, okay, we're just starting to uncover the front, so, come on back, there's about 300 thousandths, actually 300 on the money, and you can see we're, we're probably uncovered a little farther than we need to be, so, I mean, we could work with that and then, you know, adjust this to a happy medium. That wouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, I think that's a little a little short from what I want. You know, I want it to move a little bit more. Okay, folks. Uh, swapped it out. I took my little rod or lever I made off and made me a longer one. And this is actually out of an old forged piece, and I've got two of them. And uh, uh, what I did was... I actually raised the dial indicator up to the same height as my shaft. Just wanted to see what it would look like if I had my rods running, you know, straight back. And uh, 
and actually came up with uh, with 500 thousandths. We're going to do it back the other way this time, but uh, be reversed. But there is one, two, three, four, and five. And then that puts me perfect, perfect on this hole. And when I bring it back, which would be one, two, three, oop, almost three, four, and five. Okay. And it puts me perfect on that hole. So that's where we're going to keep it at. Uh, we're going to get it about level and then we should be able to do our, our eccentric offset at a quarter inch. And uh, that'll be 250 thousandths and that'll give us five, 500 thousandths of travel, which is a half inch. So move this a half inch and it moves the lever, you know, the distance needed to, to make the valve open and close just like it should. Or, you know, go from front of the cylinder to the back of the cylinder. So should work out just fine. And uh, I think I'll do these levers the same way that I did these because I'll probably use two more of these bolts to come in and screw into the outside of my eccentric and then it'll run back and then I'll just uh, you know machine a T in here I'm sorry not a T but a slot and then I'll be able to uh, drop my pins in just like just like this set up here let it pivot on it and uh, I hadn't tried to drill these pins yet but I have a feeling they're going to be fun to drill but we will see and uh, so I'll keep at it and I've got my other piece that uh, that I actually need to add on to the other one and then we'll just have two side by side and uh, both running up to the eccentric if I go into the center you know instead of the outside of either side that, that'll keep it from you know interfering with each other and uh, make it a little neater and that should be it I'll show you more. Okay, folks, I've got my pieces cut out from my eccentrics. These are inch and three quarter, and these are two and a quarter. And it's just solid bar stock that I cut, and I cut them about three quarters of an inch. And I'll put them in the lathe and face them off, and, uh, and then we'll find center on these two small ones, offset hole, quarter inch bore it to uh, three quarter which is our crankshaft size and then these will actually get bored to uh, the, an ID hole of what this ends up being on the OD and uh, which will you know inch and three quarter I think these are act actually metric they're just a little bit off but uh, a buddy of mine these were drops that came from a, a factory somewhere and he had given them to me and uh, long long bars I think most of these bars was three or four feet long and I've got a uh, seven and a half horsepower chop saw that just eats through this stuff like it's uh, like it's nothing. So it's uh, a lot faster than my old power hacksaw, and and uh, so I just popped them off real quick, and then we'll get them in the lathe and get them faced off and get them to the right width. And uh, we've got to go. Well, we've got it's a little less than an inch and a half between there, so you know we've got to get two of them in there. So. Uh, if we can get them a half or a little over, you know, keep it about an inch, uh, maybe, you know, inch and a quarter, no more than an inch and a quarter, then we'll be fine. And uh, so five-eighths a piece, piece would do it. And uh, these are, they're probably closer to three-quarter, I mean, but it's not a problem to, to face them off and do what we need to do. And then, uh, of course, like I said, we'll bore these. And then uh, there's only going to be a quarter-inch wall thickness, so... Instead of drilling and tapping, I may mill maybe a flat, uh, just a little bit of a flat on them and uh, weld a nut to them. Uh, and then I can actually screw our rod into that one nut and then run another nut up on the rod as a jam nut. And that'll uh, take care of that. And, you know, the, the weld, and we can always weld it all the way in and grind it and make it look decent. And uh, But that's where we stand right now. And... Uh, I haven't done anything else on the linkage until we get this figured out and then uh, I will, you know, 
get everything set up and that'll be the last step is is doing our our rods coming up so I'll go ahead and get these machined and taken care of and uh, and hopefully it won't take me eight or ten of them because I know I I sort of messed up the last time I had my mind in the wrong spot I guess but we will uh, we will definitely drill these a quarter inch off and not some oddball size and like I did last time so I'll show you more okay folks I figured I'd show you where I was at on this As you can see I've uh, machined our, our pieces down and, and got them the thickness I want and uh, a little over a half inch not a problem but uh, what I've done is mark the center on here so I can offset it you know a quarter inch I'll do that on the middle machine on my big mill and uh, board the inside of this out so it fits on As you can see it spins really good but uh but you don't have to do any spinning this is turning on the out you know in, inside of this so you know the fits good what i'll do is like i said i'll probably grind a flat on here and then add a uh weld a nut on run the linkage out then on the top here i'll draw a hole through this outside uh piece and probably take a uh countersink and taper it that way I can put oil down through the hole and that'll keep this oil good but uh, this should work just fine and uh, keep enough oil in there you know it won't create any heat or friction or anything and uh, so I think that'll work out so we'll get the other one finished up and uh, we'll get them both offset and then we got the machine and add our set screw in we'll get that done and then uh, Hopefully I can get this thing, get the linkage finished up on it, but I'll show you more. Okay, folks, I've gotten finished up with the eccentrics there. So I got that one a little hot, but not a big deal. Uh, it's not going to hurt it to be hard, but uh, they come out good. only had to make them once this time, and uh, I'm paying a little bit more attention to what I was doing. Still got to do the machine work uh, here and put a set screw in at an angle and that way we can adjust our timing I was hoping to go ahead and get it all finished up and didn't work out that way so we're gonna go ahead and do this as a video and or not get it all finished up but get the the timing finished up on it but we're gonna go ahead and do this and then uh, maybe tomorrow or the next time I get time I will uh, be out here working on it again and we'll go ahead and get this linkage all done and uh, that way we can time it then we'll get back on our putting lead in it and uh shouldn't be too long have her up and running and and uh and like i said i'm not going to run this on air or i'm going to run it on air to to get it st you know get it going and get it all adjusted out but uh i'm going to run it on something a little different and it's not anything you know special uh and it's, it's you know not for efficiency or economics or anything like that it's just uh just for fun and uh and i'll leave it at that and you should enjoy it but uh we will go ahead and try to get her finished up soon and uh till next time bye